Russia plans to attack US ships with nuclear weapons, Russian military expert. Russian military expert Igor Korotchenko recently suggested on state-owned TV that the Kremlin plans to attack US ships with nuclear weapons. According to Newsweek, late last month, US officials revealed to the Associated Press that President Joe Biden has since allowed Ukraine to use American-made weapons to fight against Russia's attacks or planned attacks in the Kharkiv region. The weapons are only allowed to be used to defend Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and Kyiv is not to use American-provided long-range missiles. In my opinion, there is only one adequate fast and effective response to the increased strikes against the territory of the Russian Federation with American long-range weapons since Biden and U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan have given the green light and Ukraine's armed forces will carry it out. Total destruction of an electrical generation in Ukraine. Korotchenko recently said on state-owned TV, according to an English translated clip posted by watchdog group, Russian media monitor. Korotchenko then mentioned the Russian warships that conducted drills in the Atlantic Ocean on their way to Cuba, as reported by the Russian Defense Ministry. The ministry said that a Russian Navy ship and Moscow's Kazan nuclear-powered submarine conducted the exercise to simulate a missile strike on a fleet of enemy ships. The Russian warships are scheduled to be in Havana from Wednesday until this upcoming Monday, according to the Cuban Foreign Ministry. The Cuban ministry said that none of the warships are carrying nuclear weapons and said that the warships do not represent a threat to the region. Cuban officials, meanwhile, have called their relations with Russia historically friendly, according to the AP. Now, after the arrival of our ships and submarines to Cuba, it was officially stated that the Kazan is the only sub that came there as part of a naval group of warships of the Northern Fleet. Korotchenko said. In reality, we can guess that Kazan wasn't the only one, but there were a few Russian multi-purpose nuclear subs in different parts of the Atlantic Ocean carrying out their tasks. He continued, these tasks are clear, countering American aircraft carrier strike groups. Of course, if a strike is carried out, as it was stated several hundred kilometers away against an American aircraft carrier strike group, this strike would be done with special ordinance for maximum effectiveness, speed and reliability. State TV host Evgeny Popov chimed in, special ordnance means nuclear weapons, to which Korotchenko confirmed, yes, exactly, a nuclear warhead on a Tsirkon missile. Как бы подпорную стенку опять не смыло. Ремнемка не справляется. Ну, можно здесь заплывы делать. Но основное то, что в подвал уходит все. Вон, выше дверей сантиметров на 10. Улица Победы. И двор. Там люди по колено идут. Жесть, новая речка.